Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a cushion review for you guys and it'll be on this cushion right here and this is the Hamish Atlas Perfect Cushion and the reason why I decided to get this cushion is because I am a huge fan of their Hamish Atlas Glow Base and this is actually my second primer now because I've used up the first one and this one I'm already like halfway through it like I, that's how much I love it and I need to stock up more of this so I thought that you know if this primer is good why not try this cushion because I think they're like from the same collection because I mean come on the design is exactly the same so yeah so this one this cushion actually comes in a box like this and it actually has another refill inside which I actually didn't realize silly me I'm pretty sure I remember but then when it arrived I was like oh it comes with a refill that's cool so Oops, but it's it's good because I, I'll tell you guys my results. So, so it comes with a refill and the cushion itself was just in here. And I like how the design from the outside of the box and the cushion packaging itself is exactly the same. Where it has like this white, it has this um, pastel paint and like a grey colour. And one thing I also noticed about the packaging is that it's like a... It looks like a glass looking on the top with some shimmer which is very luxurious looking as well I guess. And this one comes in two different shades so number 21 and 23. Obviously I always get my number 23 as actually the perfect shade for me which is awesome. And on the box itself it says that this cushion is the perfect cushion, combines hydrating skincare benefits with natural radiant courage and light finish. And I read this cushion online and it talk about how the cushion is supposed to give you natural courage but at the same time give you the moisture that you need because of the herb extracts i think it has like mint leaf bean leaf and peppermint just not natural ingredient which is really great and inside the cushion i also noticed that it is a mochi cushion so let me open up the seal tape when it comes to mochi cushion i like to put the seal tape back just because it helps to absorb the moisture back into the cushion so basically what you can see now it's not like this before which um, i'll show you a demo soon so basically this mochi cushion the whole benefit is to help absorb the foundation or the bb or the cc cream back into the mochi cushion in the middle so it helps to absorb back more and make it more long lasting as well and the thing is when you do push it down like that see when i press around like that you don't see much coming out but when i do press it down hard that's when the foundation itself come out that's what the mochi cushion mean it means that it helps absorb it and when you need it it comes out it pumps out so it's basically like a pumper i guess so it's way better i prefer mochi cushion over normal cushion because it means that i can use it way longer than other cushions so yeah i'll just put this back and the shade like i said is actually perfect at the moment now is summer so it's really hot and i've gone a little bit darker but the shade is still really really perfect for me but it has a little bit of a uh, um, pink undertone as well but i mean it's still okay on my skin now in regards of the application itself it's actually really easy to apply but it does take a little bit of time to layer so for the redness you would have to go about two three layers depending on how you pat it on your face but for me it took me about two and a half layer to cover up my redness around my cheek area and on my nose on my nose i do have quite a bit of dry patches and it only show one dry patch so it's actually not too bad and it's very moisturizing it's also like a matte dewy finish somehow it started off like a matte finish and then later on during the day depending on the type of your skin i do get oily sometimes when it's, it's really hot so today has been really hot and yeah oil came out so it gave me a little bit of a dewy finish but it's not too bad and the good thing about this is that it didn't show any of my pores is not that visible so what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to do the ratings so i'm going to rate it by the longevity by the moisture by the courage and by the price so for the longevity this is actually how it looks like after 10 hours so it makes sense why it's oily so i actually did a recording um during the five six hours period and you can see that it wasn't that oily compared to now but this is actually without primer and i feel like if i have primer on underneath this i don't think it will be that oily like it, it won't be as bad as now but the thing is even though it's oily it didn't smudge any of the cushion like it's, it's it's still pretty intact and the thing is i noticed that obviously the nose part most of it has disappeared because of the oiliness 
and yeah i've been out and about and it's been really hot but i'm actually surprised with the result because it still looks pretty good like i can still see in my blusher and my bronzer so it's actually not that bad i mean my lipstick is worse than the cushion itself right now so longevity i'm actually gonna give it four out of five because if i put primer and probably put powder on my t-zone it will probably look much more better but once it hit after that five six hours period mark that's when it gets oily if you have oily skin now in regards of the moisture i'm actually gonna give this 4.5 out of 5 because just because it is very moisturizing but i do feel like i can feel the cakiness around my smile line area so yeah so 4.5 out of 5 you can see how it's creasing a little bit here as well but other places actually not too bad but it's actually really comfortable to wear for a long amount of time and i think i'm planning on taking this to me during my trip as well like i feel like this will be good because i'm going to a few humid country so and a uh, winter country so i'll probably be wearing this during at the winter country because i feel like this will look amazing when taking pictures like this foundation do give me a very flawless finish which i really like a lot and in regards of the coverage, I'm actually going to give this 4.5 out of 5 because I feel like this actually cover up a lot of my redness, a lot of my blemishes. I mean, you know, compared to the longevity, you know, the longer you leave it, obviously it will look like that. But I feel like the coverage itself, first, the shade is perfect. Second, it gives me a flawless finish. It looks really smooth looking. And the fact that I didn't use primer and I can't really see my pores is actually... A good thing so i'm actually going to give this 4.5 out of 5 and for the price itself um when i got this it was actually 32 usd but if you think about it you divide it by two it's sort of like 16 usd 16 usd for two cushions so that's actually really good and i think if i'm not wrong the site where i got it from is actually 20 usd now but i don't know how long the sale is i just saw it before and i was like oh it's actually on sale so yeah i I would grab it if I were you and yeah so overall I'm actually really happy with this cushion and if you're asking me um, what my shade is I am a MAC NW25-230 and this will be great for those who have dry patches like not dry patches who have dry or sensitive skin because I think this will be great and the coverage itself is between a light to medium coverage it's not that of a high coverage because the whole target is that it's trying to make it very natural looking which I completely agree because it doesn't look like it's cakey at all and there's only so much you can layer so like like I said for some of the redness you need to lay out for two to three times but that's just it like if you try to pat it like four or five times it's not gonna make anything better you know so it's just light to medium coverage there's a little bit of scent to it but it has disappeared now and the scent is actually quite nice it smells very like flowery like but it's not too strong yeah the next time i use this i'll probably combine this one with this one and i think it's gonna be amazing so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this cushion review and definitely put down below what cushion you would like me to try next because i think i only have two more cushion left before i have to buy more and review for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you on my next video bye